We are now in part three of the commentary, commentary slash reaction video, and the last video I'm going to be reacting to is Childish Dad Wants a Toy Xylophone. <laughs> Which he is too old for. <laughs> Right, family, like I said before we left the house, we need to do some shopping here at Walmart, and it will include getting groceries, because we are almost out of food. Kids, if you behave yourselves the entire time we're here, then I can buy us some milkshakes from Carl's Jr. when we go home. Kangaroo. What is it, Dave? I will be over in the electronics section. That's fine with me, but when you're done, please remember to call me, and I will tell you which aisle we are in. Okay? Sounds good with me, and I will see you all in a few minutes. Have fun, but do not get yourself into trouble. Don't worry, I promise not to get into trouble. But will he keep his promise though, because Dave always fails to keep his promise. Ooh, Isaac Newton balls. I love those. Especially when the two the two balls move around. And I actually have a I actually have a keyboard. Not this toy keyboard you see right here, but a big full size keyboard. Which is actually sitting in my room. And then I used to have a toy robot dog when I was a kid. And I stole the beach ball because why not? Because, because why not? Because especially because you could play, play catch with it at the beach, which is what I always do. Oh my goodness! Just what I have always wanted—a toy xylophone. I never had one when I was a kid, and this is why I want to play it. It's the most fun musical instrument ever, and I think I can play it in the symphony orchestra someday. <laughs> Dave wants to play a, a toy xylophone in the symphony orchestra. <laughs> well. Well, they're not going to let you, Dave, because because they have a full-size xylophone, like a big, expensive one. <laughs> a toy xylophone, xylophone in a symphony orchestra. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey, Catherine. I'm done with what I was looking for. Now, where in the store are you and the kids? We're in the cereal section. So I will see you in a few minutes, and you know how to get there, right? Yes, I know where the cereal section is, so I am going to hang up, but see you in the kit shortly. This just buys me enough time to get the xylophone, and then put it into the cart so that Catherine can buy it for me. Best day in my life. Okay, I think that is all the cereal we need for the next several weeks. Now, let's take a look at the list to see what else we need to buy. Dave, you're back just in time. What are you so happy about? And what are you doing with the toy musical instrument? I was wondering if you could buy it for me, because I have always wanted a musical instrument, especially a xylophone where you can play well-known songs. Oh no, Dave, there is no way I am buying it for you. You're too old to be playing with toys, especially ones for preschoolers. So exactly, because you're 35 years old. <laughs> so you can put that back where you got it. I will wait for you right here. <laughs> what? Are you saying that I can't be playing the xylophone? Oh no. I think Dad is starting to act childish. Again. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> Seriously, don't you think you're too old to have a preschool toy? And don't you also have your own money? I suggest getting something else, like a board game. But Catherine, I want you to buy me the toy xylophone. It's the best thing I ever wanted, and I never got to play a toy musical instrument when I was three years old. Please, can't you get it for me? Pretty please. Oh, come on, Dave. You're a grown man. You don't need that kind of toy. I suggest looking for something else, like I told you a moment ago, and you don't need me to buy it for you. 
I want you to buy me the toys <laughs> Dave's crying while I dancing. I want you to buy me the toys on the phone. I want another one of the running the gags on the Childish Dad I want you to buy me the toys on the phone. I want you to buy me every single toy I wasn't able to play with when I was in preschool. Wah. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, You're Dave. Don't get Dave. me started with this again, especially not here in the grocery store. You are not only embarrassing yourself, but you're you also embarrassing the entire family. And the I entire store, not to mention. <laughs> I don't want to buy something else, like a board game. I want you to buy me that xylophone. Stop being such an entitled Karen. Dave, seriously, <laughs> Karen. listen to what I am about to tell you. First of all, since you have your own money, you don't need to have me buy things for you. And second of all, you're a grown man, so you're way too old to have preschool toys. You're not in preschool anymore, are you? But like I said, I never had any of these amazing toys when I was in preschool, and I want to make up those years, so therefore, I want you to buy me that xylophone, along with a toy piano, a toy train, an alphabet book. Great. This is absolutely embarrassing. Totally embarrassing. I know. Right. For crying out loud, Dave, will you stop acting like a child? You're especially embarrassing the kids. Yeah, you're too old to be a child. You're I don't way care. too old like to be I a said, child. I want you to buy me the xylophone. <laughs> buy me the xylophone. 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 Another running gag where he just repeat says the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, seriously, what embarrassing childish behavior I am seeing. How embarrassing. And this is a grown man <laughs> acting like a baby. He should be ashamed of himself. For crying out loud, Dave, stop this behavior. Now, other people are noticing us and even making comments. I don't care. I want you to buy me the xylophone. Oh my goodness, how many times do I have to tell you, you're not getting the xylophone because you're too old to have it. Exactly, Put you're it not back getting the you xylophone. Got it, get something else and buy that with your own money, and stop acting like a big baby. Wow. <laughs> He's kicking and screaming on the floor. Okay, you've got to be kidding me now. Dave, get up off the floor and stop being so immature. No one is stopping you from getting anything at Walmart, so stop making an embarrassment out of everyone in the store. I'm not embarrassing anyone. I want you yeah, to buy you me are, the Yeah, you are, Dave. Why do you have to be such an entitled Karen and not let me of everything in the world? <laughs> My goodness, this is now beyond embarrassing. Totally. You know what, Dave? I am done with you. If you want to keep throwing a tantrum on the floor like a big baby, then be my guest. Come yeah, on, be kids. our guest. Let's do the rest of our shopping. You are all entitled, Karen, to what I want. <laughs> this is not fair. You never give me my xylophone. I am going to sue you in court. You're a Karen and a childish and childish too, not to mention. <laughs> Oh, the manager has Hello. came, Dave. You're in trouble. No, you need to get up off the floor. No, not until my wife buys me my xylophone. Get up, now. Get up, now. Do you see how childish <laughs> you're acting right now? What in the world says you can be like an entitled Karen towards me? <laughs> I'm not being a Karen. Customers and even employees have been reporting to me that you were lying on the floor, kicking and screaming in front of other customers here in the store. This behavior, coming from a grown man, is not acceptable. Because of this, I am going to have you thrown out of the store. Come with me. Ooh. This is the first time Dave's ever been kicked out of a place for throwing a... You are banned from for throwing this property a tantrum. for three weeks. Now, you are free to go. What? <laughs> this is the first time Dave's ever been kicked out and banned from a public place for throwing a tantrum. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you throw a tantrum in public places. Then they kick you out. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the video. Hope you, I'll end my video here. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.